buddy. Uh, come back on for a second video tonight. Uh, wanna show a couple records I got, but first, give thanks to uh, Dr. Deadrax Mark and for some VLC, D DC LT <laughs> that he sent me uh, for uh, as a belated birthday present. Uh, have had this for, I don't know, a week, two weeks, whatever. Haven't gotten around to showing it, so uh, let's go through a, a couple, as he put it, that were just throw out pieces from the, uh, <laughs> the inbox. <laughs> but the, uh, uh, in my, or, or uh, yeah, in my stride, David Ruffin of Motown. This might be, uh, might be okay. I haven't listened to it yet, so. Forgive me, but it might be okay. Uh, this is one I have because my wife likes it, but I don't. <laughs> but a taste of honey. So, you know, another copy to uh, pass on to somebody since I already have it. But thank you, Mark. Uh, Moe's, Moe's, I, I guess that's how you want to say it. Moe's, Moss, however. Uh, Allison, Lessons in Living. Uh, some killer musicians on here. Uh, Jack Bruce, Billy Cobham, Lou Donaldson and uh, Eric Gale. It's off Electric Musician, which something about the production seems a little ooh, cheesy, but playing wise, killer album. Can't go wrong. One I didn't have, so thank you. And the last one is the uh, the Pièce de Résistance. <laughs> the, the, the full out vinyl wood. Oh, Mark sent me it. Mark uh, spoke about this record before and told me the uh, told me about it because he had me in mind for it and with good reason. I am not afraid, Masakela. You, Masakela. Off of Blue Thumb. Woo! Normally I'd flash the Blue Thumb, but of course it's spinning, so I can't. But awesome record. This is my first time listening to it actually, so. This is the first song on uh, the B-side, African Secret Society. Still absorbing it, but baby, baby, baby. Can't go wrong with a blue thumb in my opinion, and one I didn't have, the sweet spot. <laughs> so, uh, Mark, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, 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 and also for these awesome Dead Wax certified sleeves. <laughs> But yeah, very, very nice. Thank you again, Mark. Uh, you are a diamond in the rough. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> so, on to some finds I got strolling along. Make this quick. Uh, a French band, I don't know how you want to pronounce this. Uh, Leu de la Tete? Tete? I don't. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Uh, Mo Mosca Violenta. Uh, band can't find, so there'll be a link down at the bottom for you guys. Uh, so you decide how you want to pronounce this, because it's a little beyond my understanding, but this is a very interesting album. It's like a blend of almost like a stoner sludge uh, with jazz. Really cool trio music. Uh, bass, drums, and saxophone. Uh, the bass is really crunchy and dirty and just sludge, you know, stoner sounding. Just and the drumming, just perfect timing. And then the saxophone player just sometimes he's playing along and sometimes he's doing his like free thing going on. Uh, really enjoyable record overall. Uh, tickles my fancy something awful. Again, Bandcamp link at the bottom. Check them out. Uh, a couple videos ago, I was showing off my Expo 70, and this is one that I had ordered with that bunch, but he had to send it to me because he didn't have it at the time. He had to order more from the label, but it's the uh, four-way split uh, double album. Uh, each band gets one side. You have Pulse Emitter, Date Palms, Face Plant, and of course, Expo 70. Uh, I haven't had a chance to spin this yet, so I don't have much to say, but just cool for the collection. 
This is one I ordered and I spent a lot of money for it, but I am a huge Doctor Who fan and I've had this on CD for years, so I had to get it when I found out it came on vinyl. And I actually got this like a month ago, but the first copy I got, it was, it was bold, it was warped. And there was a bowl on both of the discs, and it was too it was too bad for me to play. So I wrote them and they sent me another one and totally gorgeous flat copies. Uh, part of my love of Doctor Who, especially the first two seasons when it was really quirky, when they redid it from you know the olds until they came into the new in 2005, they were really quirky. And the first two seasons had, in my opinion, the best music. Part of my love for the show is the music and how well it accompanied it. So this is just a must for me. <laughs> but didn't come cheap. I spent like $50 to get this, which is way out of my league. But you guys know how it is. <laughs> Digging this mess of Kayla. Uh, last one I got. The show did not break the bank at all. Found this at a thrift store for a dollar. An original prestige. First press, I believe first press. Modern Jazz Quartet. Concord from 1955. Speaking of uh, dead wax, when I cracked this one open and checked out the dead wax myself, I can get the damn label straight. <laughs> it's an original uh, R R V G Rudy Van Gelder press. So that uh, that to me means it's a first. It's a uh, R V G with the, the the little ear thing mark or whatever they want to call it. Uh, so definitely, definitely a cool score for a dollar. You can't go wrong. Even though you could see little scuffs and everything. These, these old vinyls, you could basically burn the damn thing and it would still sound good and play good, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, new vinyl, of course, the tiniest hair scratch makes a noise. And, uh, old vinyl, like gold, just plays, plays and plays. Beautiful sounding. Little, little crackle, but that's to be expected from a 60-year-old record. <laughs> but definitely cool score for a buck. I was thrilled when I pulled this one out. Just classic, classic jazz. No, well, that is uh, my video for today, or my second video for today. <laughs> uh, Mark, thank you so much again. And to everybody else, 